Um, I'm going to ask you a kind of like random question. Um, it's actually not that random at all. I ask almost everybody that, but what is the one thing that you wish that you had known when you got into the porn industry that you know now that you wish you had known from the beginning and you could kind of like spin that into whole, like what advice would you give new girls? Okay. Uh, off the top of my head, I would say my value, Mm. um, getting into the industry. I feel like, uh, a lot of girls, as far as like the prices that the, and the things that they'll do for the amount of money, Mm -hmm. um, are really not what they should. What, what you're doing is you're putting your body out there, your risk on the line. You know, I, I think, especially considering we don't get residuals, I think that, um, the value. I wish I I had valued myself higher. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's, that's not even it. One thing I guess I would have, I would recommend as well is this is, this is hard to say. I almost don't, I almost don't think that girls should be able to do porn at 18 Mm. because I got into it when I was 19 and not that I regret it, not at all. But if I had waited a few years and matured because I was a baby, like Mm. I'm only, I'm only, I'm about to be 27. I'm still a baby, Mm -hmm. you know, but I think back to my mentality when I was 19 and I got in, I didn't know what I was in for and it will change your entire life. So really, really be smart about it and look at it as a business. Yes. You're definitely not the first person to say that. Um, I know a lot of girls who have echoed the same sentiment and it's something that I, I kind of agree with as well. Um, I definitely know a lot of girls who, um, I feel like could use an extra couple of years, Yes, but then also too, on the flip side, I also do know some girls who are a lot more mature, like at 19, that some girls are at 30 and some people have used it as the opportunity to get themselves out of a really bad situation, like at home or whatever, you know, it's given them the financial freedom to be able to do certain things. Um, so it's like a mixed bag, you know, like, but I think overall, um, I think, I guess the best thing would be like, just really think about it. Yes. You know? Yes, exactly. Like whatever yeah. age you are. And, and realize that this is going to affect the rest of your yeah. life. You know, it's going to be with you the rest of your life. And yeah. I'm very happy with where I'm at, but I think that I've taken, uh, because of, my looks, I have a better route than a lot yeah. of girls otherwise would. So yeah. I think that it is something and, and not to have, um, I, I guess like delusions of over how it can be or how successful you can be. You really right. don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. You really don't know. I've definitely seen some girls come in and I thought that they would do better than they did. And then some other girls, I yeah. w- didn't think that they would blow up the way they did. And then so they get out of it. And I've, I've just seen, I've seen some girls, it's not their thing and mm-hmm. it follows them. And so I do, I just, I think, I don't know. I think you got to think about it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not set in stone, but my opinion yes. is that, you know, a few years more. Yeah. You know, to, to mature. It's, yes. it's something, if you can drink, you're not mature enough to drink alcohol to 21, but you can go have sex with strangers for millions of people to see. Yeah. You know, so I don't know. No, I hear you. It's a, it's a hard conversation to have, but yeah. I think you definitely have some valid points in there for mm-hmm. sure. And I think there's, like I said, there's a lot of people who agree with you on that. So you're definitely not alone in that opinion. (laughs) (laughs) I'm over here. I'm like, oh. (laughs) Um, Okay, Mia, thank you so much for coming on. It was such a pleasure. Um, We're going to do a little bonus Q&A for my Patreon members, just like another 10 minutes. Perfect. Um, So if you guys want to listen to that, you got to join my Patreon patreon.com slash Holly Randall unfiltered. Um, but me otherwise until then, Mia, can you tell everybody where they can find you on social media and also the best ways they can connect to you? Maybe how to find you on Twitch and all that stuff. Yay. Okay. So my Instagram is at Mia Malkova and then you can find me on Twitter, which is Mia underscore. Oh, sorry. Instagram's at Mia underscore Malkova. Twitter is at Mia Malkova. And then I have my Snapchat, which is Mia Malkova TV. And, uh, my Twitch is twitch.com slash Mia Malkova. You can go on there. I'm I'm really into Twitch right now and I really love it. So I'm going to promote it. You can go on there and, um, like I'm very, very active in the chat. We have like intimate conversations, you know, it's something, it's a really, really, really good platform and something I really enjoy. So I'd love it if you join me on there. 
Um, and then my OnlyFans, I'm very active on too. So uh, I don't even know the link to that. <laughs> just, it's your same as your Twitter. Probably. So it's OnlyFans.com slash whatever your Twitter is. Yeah. 